67-year-old man now facing multiple charges of animal neglect after nearly three dozen dogs were rescued from deplorable conditions last month in the town of Wayne. But tonight, CBS 58's Michelle Fiore is looking forward and has the happier side of the story as these dogs find new forever homes. So this is Bacon. She's one of five adoptable dogs here now. And check out Hershey. This is Hershey with a big smile on her face. And this one back here, that's French fry. <laughs> Roly Cannoli's got new toys and a new mommy, his first human to love, actually. But these dogs have never lived in a home. They've never had a bonding relationship with a, with a human. Cannoli's a survivor, one of 34 dogs that endured these deplorable conditions in the town of Wayne. Deputies found most outdoors in January, some in tiny crates with empty pizza boxes and no running water. We do know that, um, that he was feeding them roadkill. It's heartbreaking. It's really heartbreaking to see something like that. That's a good girl. Stephen Orman's committed to doing the hard work with pepperoni to break her out of her shell. I can't even imagine what they've been going through. But then when they got here, like after a short period of time, they started to acclimate and they were they've been very good going for their walks. She's awesome. Two puppies, Jelly Bean and Gumdrop, seem outgoing already and they're ready for adoption. 26 others are still being monitored, some with health issues because of what they went through. I have a huge yard. <laughs> Here in West Bend, and he's going to have a great life. Now you're being really calm. In the house before, you were like zoom, 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 zoom. Karen and Rolly Cannoli let us inside his new forever home. I'm going to get him a regular bed, but I wasn't sure what size he is, so we're going to take care of that this week. But other than that, he loves sleeping on the pillow already. And staff are hoping to have more of these little guys ready to go home soon. Reporting in Washington County, I'm Michelle Fiore, CBS 58 News.